Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Noni Fusi for those who don't know me and for those who do know me and are back here again. Welcome back my lovelies. So I'm shooting this intro like way like post 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 most of the content that you're going to be seeing because i actually don't remember shooting an intro i'm so sorry um i am a mess um so yeah but let's not look at that right now um this is a vlog and within this vlog um just quite a few things are going to be happening i'm gonna go for wedding fittings, bridesmaid fittings, um, but I'm not going to show much of that because I am respecting the bride's uh, privacy as well as her family. Without further ado, but please don't forget to subscribe. Let's get to 1k. I've been, I've been meaning to reach that. So I'm trying my best to maintain the consistency and just, you know, keep it going and see how I do with vlogging again. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this vlog. When I tell y'all that this vlog is all over the place, we just came back from a uh, fruit and vegetable store, got some bananas, which came out of came out of this thing. Okay, and then we got some mangoes and some nectarines some grapes um, beans two of these so it's broccoli then we've got some onion I'm not gonna pick that up carrots uh, tomato two packets of beets Peppers, robot peppers, got some red cabbage, and okay, just taught gem squash. So, yeah, just got back from doing that, and we went to go get some dog food, some bread, and noodles. That's pretty much just about it. So, yeah, this vlog is going to be literally all over the place. But I'm going to try as much as possible to vlog as much as I can. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm actually so tired today. And so I'm picking up the camera like randomly. No one, absolutely no one can tell me anything about popcorn. I love popcorn with all my soul. It's the best snack ever. Also, disclaimer, y'all going to see crusty mommy quite a lot on this vlog all my vlogs actually because i'm really not about like i want to show you guys the real me i've always shown you guys the real me but the new real me as a mom sometimes my bra is sticking out my hair's a mess so yeah, I'm actually, I just made popcorn, I'll show you guys just now after I've dished off everyone, I want to cook, but I'm trying to do that one pot chicken um, recipe, so I don't know where I can get it from, I'll see just now, but I'm not going to cook with you guys, oh well, it's too much admin and it's hot, it's very hot. 
So I do that to just clean up here in the kitchen and then just go and relax. My son is currently asleep. So that's when I'm able to do almost everything that I need to do. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Just to give you guys a little bit of um an idea. So this weekend tomorrow actually I'm going to Soweto with my friend Kiwa, Kiwa Hile, um, who's getting married. In one of my vlogs, you guys did see that she did ask me to be her bridesmaid. So, wedding is in May, and we're going for like measurements tomorrow, and then we're gonna go for like early lunch. After we hadn't really decided, we wanted to go to 1947, but apparently now there's like a whole lot of hijacking going on, so we're a bit skeptical about going there. So we're gonna decide where we're gonna go either we'll go to live grand cafe or the crawl restaurant at tabat eco hotel in the south so yeah i'm gonna be taking you guys along with me i was supposed to go also on sunday but i don't think that's gonna happen i don't know actually <laughs> i don't know um so yeah let me get this done and then i'll see you guys i did say this vlog is all over the place yesterday we went to China Mall and then we went to Macro, the one at Crown Mines, got some groceries obviously. Um, yeah, so it was just basically getting essentials for the house and yeah, there's nothing really much to see and I don't really want to vlog while grocery shop, but next time I probably will. So yeah. It is such a mess, but it's still like fairly new. It's not like old, old, old because I did it like a week ago. It's just that I have natural hair, but anyways, I'm gonna be wearing a wig anyways tomorrow. I need to go and sort out my wig also, just make sure that tomorrow I just install and keep it moving. I wanted to wear makeup, but it's really hard tomorrow. Like, I wanted to wear makeup, but I'm not gonna. It's hard and having to deal with an infant. I'm okay, makeup. Uh, please, but I'll see you guys. <laughs> Because my son doesn't like being covered with his blanket nights so and sometimes it is really cold so we need to 
she did one of these sections. Looking for his size because he's three months and there's only six to twelve months. But I think it wouldn't hurt. No, it's zero to six months, so that's fine. I like the neutral colors. The way I am so shy of vlogging in public, but hey, the girls gotta do what the girls gotta do. My baby, it's cold here, Nana. It's cold, isn't it? Isn't it? It's cold. Just cover yourself, it's cold. Yes. Yes, my angel. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my brother and my mom to pick me up, and then I'm out of here going back home. Kiwa and Gatia have already left. As you guys would have probably already seen, we had lunch at Life Grand Cafe in Mall of the South, at Mall of the South. So I just went to Akima because I wanted to, I wanted to get hats for my son, like sun hats. So I got that. I'll show you guys once I'm home. So yeah, let's get going. I'll see you guys. Hey lovelies, I'm finally back home. When I tell you it's hot, I mean it's hot. Don't mind how I have my wig all stuffed up at the back. Gashisa. It's lifting. Gashisa. It's been lifting anyways. We're back home. And I realized that I didn't realize it now, but I don't like being in malls for too long. That's why I prefer restaurants that are like out of I think ew that are out of malls because this mall thing it'll work don't join me <laughs> this thing of, of, of going to restaurants that are in the mall mm -mm, doesn't work for me i don't like it i've never liked it that's why i don't like shopping i'd rather shop online unless i'm not sure like the uh, the fabric of something but yeah um so just a quick recap of today went for fittings for my friend's wedding as i am a bridesmaid i think i did mention um i didn't show that because there were like older people like well my friend's mom and her sister and the designer i don't want to invade people's space like that and we're just busy also but like when my um, son's feet are showing, that's when we were there. Then we went to Live Grand Cafe at Mall of the South. Mm, had mm, brunch, early lunch, whatever you want to call it. And then, um, yeah, Kiwa and Kati left. And then I was actually shopping for a hat for my son because he does have like quite a lot of rash. So I'm just trying to like... Um, get in my head and see if it'll make a difference because I have been trying all the products that were recommended your Bennett's your what's it pseudo cream or something like that AP Max and all that stuff so and he also sweats a lot that's the thing so it's kind of hard for the rash to go away when he sweats so much and then you're yeah, excuse me i'm just waiting for my brother and my mom to come pick me up which they did but they took forever <laughs> so i think that's why i got like really overwhelmed and so much anxiety just being in the mall for so long you know uh -uh. my son has this thing of literally shoving his whole fist in his mouth and i, I just i don't know so yeah um put the camera down now i'm really tired i'm flushed out and i just want to rest i don't know when else i'll see you guys uh, i don't know we'll see hi good morning welcome back to my youtube channel um so today is 
Tuesday. I have not bought whatsoever. I look crusty. I know. I look like mom. I have milk all over my t-shirts and that's just that. Um, today is a Tuesday morning. Um, it is the 30th of January. My son is currently sleeping. Um, he's already had his um, bath and he's really had breakfast and i'm about to make breakfast for myself for myself because i am starved um so one thing about breastfeeding you will be hungry you will be hungry let me touch my lips they're so dry oh that's better so one thing about breastfeeding you will be hungry i didn't believe it until it actually started happening so i eat a lot and i'm so grateful that i haven't really visited like people's homes because i feel like people will be on some this hand eats but it's actually breastfeeding like it makes me so hungry so yeah i just want to make eggs and something yeah just eggs and something because i've really been trying to like keep healthy and stuff like that the other day we went grocery shopping with my family they actually got the couscous because i i've had couscous but i've never had it like here at home like it's always like at a restaurant or something um well or store bought like woolies and stuff like that like ready made so i decided to, to like buy this and then make it myself because i'm really trying to be healthy eat a lot but be healthy like i said today's tuesday don't have anything planned whatsoever tomorrow my son has his um i think it's 14 week but he's three months now and um, he has his checkup tomorrow and he's um injections and what or vaccines whatever that yeah those things <laughs> he has that going for him tomorrow so we're going to go to my midwife tomorrow and get that done hate seeing him cry but i love seeing him healthy so yeah um there are a couple of people who asked me what's the difference between a private birthing center and a hospital um, I think Google is there for a reason, but I'm going to tad bit explain it. A uh, private birthing center does not operate like a hospital. Hospital has all your equipment, obviously. Your ICU does not perform um, C-sections. It's strictly only natural births. Um, that's why you would also get things like your water births happening at a, a private birthing center. Um, there are midwives and doulas, no doctors. Um, so... Birthing centers mainly deal with low risk pregnancies um, when you're definitely sure that you're also going to give birth naturally and not through a C-section. Um, events, obviously, and circumstances may change where you may need an emergency C-section, then you would be transferred to a hospital. So, yeah. Um, when Short story, when I gave birth, I think I did explain this in my Q and A's also, uh, which you would have seen already um, before this vlog. That I I um, gave birth on a Thursday. I think between six of October it was on a Thursday. Yeah, it was on a Thursday, and I went home afterwards. So my labor pain started on the 25th, which was actually when I was supposed to give birth. My EDD dates, my estimated um, delivery date was on the 25th of October, but I gave birth on the 26th of October. And I gave birth at 19 minutes past 11. By past one, I was already going home. So that's how a birthing center operates. Uh, and like in, in hospital, you would stay like another day or two, you know, just kind of like recovery mode which i kind of find pointless because i like being in my own space and i've never been admitted into a hospital where i like stay overnight so yeah i'm actually glad that i whole i went the whole birthing center route so yeah i'm gonna be doing that and i actually have uh, a surprise birthday dinner plan for my brother he's not sure so i can speak on that very loudly and freely 
um i i, I planned a birthday dinner for my brother his birthday is tomorrow which is the 31st of january but we're gonna have the dinner on saturday with two of his friends that he used to go to school with at summit college um so he doesn't know about that i just asked for the friend's numbers because i told because the friend is an attorney so i told him that one of my friends is going through like a bit of a rough divorce so can we please make use of the friend so yeah that's what he knows has no idea whatsoever which i love um don't know how i'm gonna get him there but we'll see uh we're going to Bali G, which we did go last year as well for my mom's 60th with uh her friends that celebrated her they have this thing where they celebrate all um the friends 60th and get them a present or presents rather and all that stuff so i'm doing that for my brother this year because last year we just had like family over um had like a nice lunch and yeah and all that stuff so we're doing that on saturday um i also actually want to go to the labor department hopefully on thursday because i have been struggling with my uif i have been applying for this damn thing since november and i'm just not winning and it's just starting to be such a drag yeah because i did it online and usually it just works perfectly fine but yeah there's, there's there's just been like a back and forth so i need to get that done so i'm hoping to go on thursday because i there are documents that i need my midwife to correct for me um tomorrow when we go to her so yeah so i'm just gonna make food and please just do bear with me. I, I know even when I went to Life Grand Cafe, I would usually take like when we enter the mall, when we enter the restaurants and all that stuff. But honestly speaking, going back to vlogging, it's kind of like difficult. I was telling my friend how challenging it, it has been, like just vlogging again, because especially in public, because you get like people staring at you, you get people thinking that you are actually taking videos of them and you actually not. And you don't know with some stores, some malls, they don't actually like cameras or you taking videos. And, and, and obviously because of poppy ads and just respecting people's privacy. So I am still getting in the string of things and all that, um, but we'll get there. We'll get there. I definitely love vlogging and I hope I stay here and I hope the channel grows. I actually had a dream that my channel all of a sudden was on 1K subscribers. And in my head when I woke up, I was like, wow, like I've been, been trying to reach for the 1K. Even on my Instagram, like I'm just stuck on my 6 point something K and I'm trying to get to 10K so I can get like more brand um, campaign work. Because a lot of the work, they reach out for like your 10K following um, content creators, even on um, humans, the app. So yeah. Um, also, if you guys know, if, if there are any content creators or influencers that know like any specific agencies that I can join, um, that can assist me with like campaigns and stuff please do um drop me a dm on instagram or you can leave it in the comment section depending on how comfortable you feel with letting out such information but if you're not so comfortable you can leave it in my dm if you don't want to also that's also fine <laughs> i have been doing my research so i'm trying to find an agency that will assist with that so yeah without further ado let me just go and make some food and eat before my son wakes up because once he's up it's up for me <laughs> like it's done it's over for me so yeah um i'm so glad january is finally coming to an end because it i felt it was quick but it was also long you know I felt like this week of January was not necessary. Like now it should have been Feb already. But now we have January 2.0 and Jan and February is ending on the 29th also. Mm. It's just a lot. And I'm doing a whole countdown of 
me going back to work which i'm not looking forward to but i have to be realistic about it also um because i'm someone who's trying to like work with my finances properly also and just you know maneuver my way around my finances and just you know not be reckless um yeah and today i want to do my vision board i don't know why i haven't done it so i want to do it today get it done and then yeah so i'll probably see you guys tomorrow <laughs> Procrastinating sending her like a thank you gift, and there were just complications with the last thank you gift I wanted to send her. So I just decided to come here myself and gather some flowers for her since we have our checkup appointment today. So. Casino side. Let me just try to get away from here. 
We're by the casino side because we came to Belichi. Um So yeah, my brother told that we know that his friends are coming. So we're just taking pictures because um, they only start supper at six. So yeah, it's very fun. My guys, them, them love me since oh six. I've been writing this story. I know the OG, but if you ask them, them love me. I know they blow trees, so they know you mean love me. Music chose me, just no this and no peace. I did but I'm never low. Pushing my son in his stroller, and my top is like dirty. That's okay. <sighs> I think this vlog ends here. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna vlog when I get home. I don't know. I'll see. I'll see.